Week 10 preview time. Let's talk about the Houston Texans traveling to Cincinnati to face the Bengals. This is an 8 0 Bengals team and a 3 5 Texans team. Here's the question What would it take, Greg Rosenthal, for the Texans to pull off an upset? For JJ Watt to have the best game of his career, for the Texans defense to live up to what we thought they might be going into the season, and at least slow down this great Cincinnati attack. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I'm not giving them much of a chance. Yeah, they'd have to clone DeAndre Hopkins and J.J. Watt. I mean, that's <laughs> how it would happen. This is a one-dimensional offense with the only dimension being Brian Hoyer's passing game. With Arian Foster <laughs> out for the year, they don't really have a running attack, so that's what you're up against against an undefeated team in Cincinnati. How about one of those J.J. Watt games where not only does he have two sacks and a fumble recovery, but he has a two-yard catch, touchdown catch? That's what we're talking We need something like that. You need some crazy things to happen. I don't think it will because that Bengals secondary has been playing better and better each week, so I think it's going to be tough to throw it out. It's kind of the, it's a good week for the Texans because they find out Andrew Luck's going to be out for a little while. They think they're in the mix, but then they're going to be crushed right back to earth by the Bengals. Is that true, Wes? <laughs> yeah, it's, they're going to get their comeuppance a little bit. It's going to happen. Yeah, and at some point you would think the Cincinnati could have a down week. They're not going to go 16-0. and 0. No, I think Andy Dalton hasn't been quite at the same heights the last few weeks as he was before that. I guess that's what you're hoping for is for some mistakes. Let's see how it plays out. Check out the Around the NFL podcast three times a week.